Okay, this is a really small video about my Deluge Kit Editor program, really alpha beta version. Uh, the first thing is that you unplug the SD card from your Deluge and plug it into a card reader on your computer or you can use a local copy of the Deluge uh, folders like I'm using here. The second thing is uh, when the program opens it asks for the kits, fo kits folder. If uh, somebody is, doesn't know how the Deluge root st structure is, is that there are uh, in SD card there are folders kits, samples, songs and synths. We are now interested in kits where all the kits are and samples where really surprisingly all the samples are. Okay, let's select kits. Then <clears throat> it loads for a bit. A few moments later. Okay, <clears throat> and here's the kit editor. Uh, very brief tour of what uh, this is. This is not kind of like intended uh, for actually editing the kit as such. Uh, if you edit them here, you can't hear them and that's pretty pointless. But you can visually check uh, the data that uh, the kit has. Here are all the basic kit settings. And here on the other page are all the sample settings that are set or uh, sound settings. So you, ca you can, yes, you can edit these if you want to, but that's not kind of like the main point of this. If you edit something, you may notice that uh, it had this small tab here that this has been changed. Uh, <clears throat> so what you can do? Well, you can, uh, now this has loaded all the uh, kits from my deluge root. I can load more kits to this list. Yeah, like that. Uh, these are not moved into the kits folder. These are just, uh, they are displaying it. Uh, you may see it. this is in my Deluxe root and this uh, is uh, in the Sika Vika kits clapper folder. So it, it's not moved. I can also load one individual kit here. Like that. There it is. Um, this indicates that it can't find a sample for some reason, this uh, red cross. Okay, um, and uh, then there's a possibility to create a whole new kit. Like this. Uh, what else you can do? You can edit all these things. Uh, and they change here. And uh, here you can add sounds. Uh, you can add such one sound, then it asks for the sample, like for example that one, or you can uh, load a whole folder. There's quite many here probably, but yeah. Okay, <clears throat> of sounds, and you can edit this, you can edit the names and so on. And <clears throat> also uh, move them, organize them around, and uh, remove, remove a few ones. And then you can save. There are two possibilities here. Uh, if you are using an old kit, you can overwrite the current kit, or you can save this as new. Overwrite just overwrites the kit, uh, but this, of course, this is now new. When you do this as uh, save new, then you select a folder. Yeah, like that. 
and then the kit is saved here. So what this basically does is that if you look at this uh, video test folder, uh, you select uh, when you select the save folder, you select the root folder, and underneath this creates a kits folder where my, the, the kit is now, and samples folder uh, that has all the samples for this kit. Here, uh, all the samples uh, in one dedicated folder. You can also set up a save subfolder. And if we save this, uh, let's change the name, new kit 2. Uh, if we save this as new here, It now uh, has created, you can see it has now created a subfolder. So you can, you can add an additional path also to this kit folder. But uh, the kit samples are stored uh, in uh, dedicated folders uh, according to kit name. But if it overwrite, uh, the kit uh, sample is only created for new samples that you select from outside of uh, the uh, sam your, your Delu sample for. Also, uh, you can play back samples. I don't know if you can hear this. Uh, there's also this, uh, you can edit the start and stop positions, but it doesn't really work very, very well. You can also load new samples here. So now both oscillators have a new sample, and this sample is still st stored uh, uh, outside of, of the main folder. So if I, if I overwrite this, okay, now it changed, now it's stored uh, in the sub MyKit2 folder. The one of the main features here is that uh, you can archive sounds. So uh, For example, here's a sound, my bass, and you want to, uh, you have kind of like really these nice settings here, and you can, you want to store this sound and maybe use it for other kits. So you can use archive sound, and then I have a sound archive here, and it saves this, and it also saves the uh, associated samples with this. So you can, for example, go to another kit and load, load sound and take that my bass here and there it is, my bass. Now, now it's usable uh, in this. So you can basically create the sound archive of your favorite sounds and settings all, all at the same time. Okay, that's a brief tour of uh, what this kit editor does. Uh, currently it's beta. I'm searching for some testers and but I hope to release this. Uh, the user interface needs a bit of work. It looks horrible, but that's just cosmetics. Okay, so coming soon, hopefully. And yeah, it's, on, it's Windows only, no Mac version, sorry. But that's, that's how we roll. This is the way. Bye.